Throughout the year, the Michigan State Police will be celebrating their 100th anniversary all across the state of Michigan. And today, a celebration for the MSP took place in Hermansville. TV6's Mark Kalman has more. Michigan State troopers and members of the public gathered today in Hermansville at the IXL Museum for the Gladstone Post's open house celebrating the 100 year anniversary of the Michigan State Police. The day began with the posting of the colors and a few words from Gladstone Post Commander Gregory Cunningham. After that, people headed out to take in all of the displays on hand representing the past present and future of the state police. There were displays for special weapons and the dive team. One of the highlights was the many vehicles on hand, from a 1957 patrol car to one even older, and then one model whose efficiency would be measured in miles per bale. Well, when the state police started in 1917, we wore outfits that were basically the standard issue World War I uh, doughboy soldier outfits. And so that's what I've put together today is a, is a uh, replica uniform from 1917 in the state police. And if you were wondering why we are in Hermansville, it's because this was the first state police post in the area, and John Maga was the first trooper assigned here. There were other displays, including the forensics lab, the bomb disposal unit, the accident reconstruction unit. There was, of course, the fan favorite, the canine unit. Bach and his handler, Trooper Kelly, out of the Gladstone Post. Bach is one of only five canines currently assigned in the UP. Well, it's great. Um, it's great seeing the support, and we've got a lot of support here in the Upper Peninsula for law enforcement uh, in general, which is fantastic. But as we celebrate the past 100 years, let us not forget to say a special thank you to those who have given all in the service of our fair state. Thank you to the men and women of the Michigan State Police. Mark Kalman reporting for TV6 News, Hermansville.